trying to be so nice. Ah. I think I should play upstairs instead. Okay, that's the first time she's come to stop me going somewhere. Let's ask about X2 then. What is it? Uh, I, I have to do something. Stay here. I have survived, though I think I've upset her by telling her that I want to leave. And I think I'm going to find her down here. You wish to return, to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Oh, come back. Come back, you're not blocking me in. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Askor, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Nope. You're going to try and destroy it. You're not trying to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh. Oh, great. Oh, I'm terrible at this. Oh, no, no, that's bad. Thuriel prepares a magical attack. No. I don't want to attack. Ooh, I've got, a, I've got a voice box this time. Thuriel prepares another magic attack. I'm going to continue to spare you. Keep trying to kill me. I'm just going to... Take all that you can throw. Toriel looks through you. Please? Oh, no, no, no. Toriel prepares a magical attack. I'm still going to spare you. I'm going to keep doing the same thing until you kill me or give up trying to kill me. Oh, I didn't get a hit that time, but hey! Thoriel looks through you. What are you doing? Not fighting. Thoriel looks through you. Attack or run away? No. You will have to kill me. You're trying not to hit me. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that you don't want to hurt me. Fight me or leave. Toriel is acting aloof. Stop it! Oh, stop it! I've got. I forgot to do the voices. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Stop looking at me that. Oh, stop looking at me that way. Oh, 
away. For real, prepare the best option of dad's treatment. How long can this go? And I know we want to go home, but. But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but. We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Ah. Uh, pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Bye, my child. Oh, she was quite nice. Even if she was trying to trap me in her creepy house. Right through the door. Okay, so what comes next? Clever, very clever. Think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Evil little fucking flower. Can I stomp on your flower pot? 
tried to kill me earlier. Stamp on your... Yeah. Oh, is that just like the intro to the game? Oh my god. Uh, uh, Toriel wasn't really trying to kill me though. Toriel was trying to teach me a lesson and I was obstinate and wouldn't hurt her. And yes, that was to vegetable. This is a creepy, creepy... Oh, can I take that? Oh, it's a tough looking branch, it's too heavy to pick up. Okay. It smashed like it was nothing. But I still want to take something that... Like a... Oh, actually, I've got a knife, can I? Toy knife. Equip the toy knife, yeah. I swear I just saw something move over there. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> Whoopee cushion! Hey, the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick! It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Behind that conveniently shaped lamp. What's up, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. You wanna look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. 
Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, are you not helping, you lazy bones? All you do is boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton! <laughs> Sans? Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Uh, why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ah. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Just a conveniently shaped cabinet. Okay. That point. Relish, said right, so. Uh, okay. That's very noisy. Okay, so what about the strangely shaped folders? Can I no, can't look at those. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Oh, save point. Yay! <laughs> okay. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. I don't think I've got anything I want to put in it. I don't think I've got anything I... Oh, hi. Oh, Snowdrake flutters forth. No, 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 no. I don't like fighting. Snowdrake. Um... Go to my joke. Make a bad ice pun. Okay. So Drake is smiling at its own bad joke. Okay. Let's tell another joke. I've heard that one. Okay. Is this where you'd actually attempt to kill me? 
smells like a wet pillow. Laugh at its joke. Oh, bugger, okay. Now it wants to actually hurt me. Okay. Tell him a joke. You make a bad ice pun. Ah, nice try. Okay, when I feel like I need to move, I will. Okay. No Drake is assessing the crowd. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Okay. Fights you in cold. Okay, so it's told a pun. Mm, whoops. No Drake is practicing the next pun, but I need to laugh at the last one. Ah. See, last. Dad was wrong. Again, not actually trying to hit me. No Drake is pleased with its cool joke. Aha! Yes, okay. So it was just a. wanted to. okay. Before I go and talk to them again, because I need my voice to back up it. Fishing rod. A fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end of the photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. I decide not to call him back. So, as I was saying about Undyne. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular, popular, popular! Ahem. Okay, catch you later, Earth. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then. I'm, I'm not sure what's next. In, in, in any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Ice cap struts into view. Oh. Well, his name is all to do with the ice cap, so. You inform the ice cap that it has a great hat. And this too. Okay. Whoa, okay. No, okay, yeah, that was. It's snowing dandruff. Ignore it. Manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. I'm going to continue to ignore it. 
seems defeated. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. Ha! Wait! I've got loads of gold. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe, hang on, that looks like sand. You observe the well-crafted sentry station? Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Papyrus. Oh, no, I don't, uh, we're not doing it again. Absolutely no moving. Something move with nation. Was moving. Oh, Doggo blocks the way. I'm going to pet Doggo. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Easily excited by movement, hoppies include squirrels. Squirrels! I'm thinking about going to a popular stream, pasting something that's in a different language, then see if anyone replies the same way. Um, okay. So this time. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Okay, I'm going to try and pet you again. You pet Doggo. Ha ha! Doggo has been pet. Aha! Now I can spare Doggo. 30 gold, nice! Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Um, I've looked at it, I've watched, not really my, my, my cup of tea. This is something, pet me, something that isn't moving. Oh, I need some gold trees. Ah. These. Someone's been smoking smoking dog treats. Move away slowly. Hey, there's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Oh, okay. Slide from one side to the other, so let's... North, ice, south, ice, west, ice. 